the earlier session we have seen how to construct a jk flip flop using very log entry in this session we'll be constructing a 3 bit adder using instances of full adder in very log entry so the block diagram is as shown so each instance will name it as m1 m2 and m3 and each two instances communicate using wires so we need to declare this wires as well apart from the input and output sets So we'll create a new project six, which is a three-bit adder. So in this project, we'll add the source of the module of full adder which we have already constructed in the project code so the module is obtained so now to create the system of 3 bit adder We'll be instantiating this module of full adder. So let's create a top module, or let's create a top Verilog module. Let's create a top level Verilog module. So the terminals for this module will be A, B, sum, and carry. And inputs are A and B. and outputs are sum and carry the terminals a b and sum are three bits so we'll be defining it as an array and same with the sum and carry is a single bit terminal so apart from this declaration we need to define wires as well now to create the instance we'll be calling the file name as full adder and then we'll be adding the module name as m1 the input arguments should be in the order of the main module which we are instantiating so these are the single bits of a b and then sum so this is the first bit of a which is an lsb for c it is grounded so we'll be using one backtick zero and the output carry for the first module will be a wire so we'll be writing as w1 and as soon as we save the file we can see the hierarchy we can see the listing of the modules which gets nested in the main module so these are what these are what we call as instances so let's create the other instances for the full adder 
So we'll name it as M2 and M3 and appropriate inputs and output set. Now, carry for the C input for the second module is the carry of the first module and so on and so forth. So we'll be writing W1 and here as W2, which are the wires. And this will be the carry output. So as soon as we say, we can see the instances which gets appended to the main module in the directory. So the module is created, so let's save the module and we'll check the synthesis which in a way verifies the approach of the declaring or defining the module. So synthesis is completed, so let's check the top level module. So this is what we desired. So let's quickly test the module so created. So we'll be adding a new source and then very log test fixture. If things are fine, the terminals and the... So here we can... So here appropriate inputs can be initialized. Note, all the input terminals are 3 bit. So let's quickly add the variability in the input so that module can be tested. So having done that, we can see the test fixture and the unit under test, which is 3-bit adder. So after check syntax, let's simulate the module. So in the ISIM program, we get the output. So let's quickly arrange the display so that it helps in quickly verifying the functionality. So let's select the inputs and we'll quickly check the functionality. So here all are zeros so zeros. So one can see the functionality is verified for the 3-bit adder.